This is Red Carpet Diary with the best coverage of the Toronto International Film Festival. Acclaimed director Ridley Scott heads into familiar space with The Martian. Stranded and alone, astronaut Matt Damon must struggle to survive while he awaits rescue. This is Mark Watney, and I'm still alive, obviously. I have no way to contact NASA or my crewmates. But even if I could, it would take four years for another manned mission to reach me. And I'm in a hab designed to last 31 days. So, in the face of overwhelming odds, I'm left with only one option. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. Matt, there's a lot of science and space in this film, obviously, but also a lot of humor and wit that you get to bring forward in your character. What did you enjoy about that? Well, I mean, I enjoyed it in the book and in the script. It, you know, just, just, uh, it just made me laugh, and so it was all about trying to make sure that I didn't mess it up. You know, for the movie, uh, you know, those that that stuff is. That's why the character is so great. Like he's really, he's really smart, but he's also uh, he's really uh, kind of ingenious, and 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 the way he he kind of figures out how to kind of save his own life, but also has a great sense of humor about it. It's this, uh, it's this great. Ridley, you've really defined the way that so many of us see space. Where does that passion and that vision come from? Wow, that's a tough question. Say, say that again. <laughs> On my head, right in here. I, mean, I think uh, it all goes back from me, you mean? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, I s spent seven years at art school, and you know it with very good... By the time I got to the Royal College, I'm a, I could teach, paint, do everything. And so I've never went to film school, and I apply everything I learned at art school to what I do now. I gotta figure out how to grow four years worth of food here on a planet where nothing grows. But if I can't figure out a way to make contact with NASA, none of this matters anyway. Tell us about the research that you did uh, for the role, because I know that Ridley likes, um, you know, it's supposed to be very authentic, and there was a lot of consultation with this film, wasn't there? Yeah, I went to um, JPL in Pasadena and met with all the robotics people and saw, like, the Curiosity rover's twin and them testing it and programming the one on Mars. Then I got to do a virtual reality of what it would be like on Mars. Awesome. Then I went to um, NASA in Houston and met with Tracy Caldwell Dyson, who's an astronaut who's done three spacewalks, and just got to hang out with her. And I based a lot of my character on Tracy. And a guy like Ridley Scott can go, I know how this is going to look. And then eight months later, I get to come in and it's like I'm going to Disney World or something. It's space. It doesn't cooperate. I guarantee you that at some point, everything's going to go south on you.